Good day everyone, hope we're feeling spectacular. Today I've got a fun off meta build which isn't anything crazy complicated. It is my Void Gauntlet Incinerate build and this one's definitely a fun one. The aim of the build is to screen people in place and burst them with Incinerate. However, just a forward, this is just a fun build. It's not a crazy combo since people can iframe the Incinerate and perks like Freedom might set them free from your root early. Without further ado, let's get into our attribute split, which is our basic 300 intelligence and 200 con split. The 200 con is extremely essential in this build, since we don't have any reliable escape mechanisms and light melee users are very very strong and will chase you down. For the rune glass gems in your armor, we're going to take a full set of igniting, although if it's too expensive, don't worry about it since this is just a goofy fun type build. We're prioritizing fire damage since incinerate is the focus of this build. You can either run a damage over time rune glass opal in your void gauntlet, or if you want to make the most out of the intelligence investment and not worry about keeping your stamina down with an opal, you can slot a T2 gem like a cut full topaz in there, up to you. As for your fire staff gem, I'd recommend the ignited opal rune glass, or if you'd like to, you can also just run a T2 gem to keep it simple. As you can see, most of this footage was taken before heart runes, but this has awesome synergy with grasping vines for extra lockdown, or if you can time it right, a detonate could work extremely well with the incinerate. For void gauntlet perks, keen and a weapon perk like putrefying scream at the minimum will do you wonders. In this build we use the Void Gauntlet for Oblivion Empower, Scream Root and Disease, and Orb for cooldown reduction and extra burst. Your third perk isn't really important for this reason, but mine is Vicious and Vicious is just an all round good choice. If you want your fire staff to be more well rounded, don't take stable incinerate on your weapon, but if you'd like a solid boost on your incinerate, go for the weapon perk on your fire staff. Perks like Vicious, Keenly Empowered and Attunement work great too, so build the fire staff how you wish or with what you already have available rather than going out and buying it or crafting a new one. The Void Gullet skill tree is quite straightforward, so we're just going to take Orb, Oblivion and Scream. In a perfect world, we are able to get the Oblivion down before we do our Scream into Incinerate combo, but unfortunately that isn't always possible. For the fire staff, you have a few options, with Incinerate and Fireball being non-negotiable. Whether you take Pillar of Fire to pump out more damage as your third ability or Burnout for mobility and survivability is your choice, as like I said this build is not super serious and you're best off tailoring it to how you will feel comfortable and enjoy it. On screen both skill trees have been shown so roll with whichever you choose and if you disagree with some of the passive choices alter them how you see fit as well. On your armor get 4 to 5 resilient as per usual and whatever weapon perks out of stable incinerate, putrefying screen, empowering fireball and refreshing pillar of fire that you don't have on your weapon get on your gear. Diminishing orb and nullifying oblivion are great and essential for important pvp scenarios like war. However for a build like this you can live without it since its value definitely is hard to measure and a more directly beneficial perk like a stack of freedom could do you wonders. Then for your general perks, as a light user, stacking freedom, refreshing or shirking fortification could be very beneficial. That pretty much covers it all. My biggest tip for gameplay is that you need to use a lot of foresight and expect when people are going to push you so that you can drop your oblivion and use your incinerate to really punish groups of people advancing on you. Additionally, as you can see on screen, you can animation cancel your incinerate, which is super important to remember and really beneficial to utilize in some situations. Thank you all for watching and all the support as per usual. Hearing your feedback means a lot and makes sharing new world content like this really fun for me. Remember to like and subscribe, it's free, I appreciate it a lot and it helps me. Check out my Instagram, my Twitter and my Discord server in the description below, they're linked so you can just go click on them. And have a good one everybody, I'll catch you in the next one.